Well, okay, guys. Sorry about uh, the abrupt ending to the free play Friday that was going on. I'm telling you, the, the phone is just, it's, it's okay. It's old. I got to go upgrade it. I think I'll maybe go do that today. I keep putting it off. I really don't want to. I think I'll just call Verizon. Um, I don't know. Well, I could just walk in and buy a phone, I guess. Because you have to do the transfer yourself or pay them extra money these days and blah, blah, blah. Let's just stick, stick some of this down and see how we go, okay? Let's just, let's start with that. And I'm going to try the tacky glue. I don't know, ouch, if that's a good plan or not. But that's what we're going to try. So, let's... So, wait, the bottom one would be a different color because, well, no, yeah, it should be, but I'm not going to, not going to do that because I want it to be this color. So, we're just going to kind of squinch, squinch it up in there, squinch it, squinch it, and then I will absolutely throw some matte medium on this to get it all the way down, you know. So, this bottom one needs to be straight. It's the only one that should technically be, you know, straight-ish. And then the rest of them need to do a curve. Where's my next line? Was well, actually right above it. But it doesn't really matter, does it? Not so much. It doesn't really matter that much. I'm wondering if we want to put this down the edging before we uh, put that down, though. So let's let's hold on a second. I'm discombobulated because the stupid camera stopped again. Ugh. And I know Gail, uh, uh, Gail Augustinelli was having the same problem and she had to go upgrade her phone. And I'm guessing that's where I'm at because I don't like to upgrade phones. I'm not, I don't run out every time there's a new phone. I just, I'm, I just don't. It's a pain in the butt and I don't want to do it. Would this look, how would this look? Hang on, let's, you move for a minute. Let's do, I don't know why this isn't just coming off here, because, you know. Because you don't have patience, Patty. There, look at that. Okay. So let's run a line from, here's my, oops, sorry, here's my top. So I'm just going to run a line. Choo, 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 choo. It's all done in kind of glitter outline because it's supposed to fall into the background, but it's a little too much in the background. That's all I'm saying, it's a little too much. I know you guys came in probably possibly on the center, so we're working on my, um, uh, whatever this is, seahorse. <laughs> and underneath here is papers, and this is collaged fabric right here, and then there's collage underneath the, um, well, the Compass Rose is all collaged. I'm going to move these because now I've made a mess with them and we don't appear to be using all of them. So I'm just going to stuff them over here on the side because I don't know what you can see and what you can't now. Let me see. Okay. So here on the belly of the seahorse is collaged fabric and then it's gone over. I painted it and swirled it and then he has an antique, um, has an antique uh, button for his eyeball. And then um, this is um, antique atlas and maps in the background behind this that was supposed to be background. And then there'll be a whale here. And then I showed you a minute ago, we're gonna use some, I think we're gonna use, this is mandarin orange netting. I think we're gonna use on the bottom to come around this lighthouse that I very much want, but it's not as, you can't see it as well as I would have imagined. And I know, that the swirls go this way in the pattern because that's how I want them and that that's not how it happens in nature my husband has kindly pointed this out to me which had me laughing because I was like I am well aware he's like I don't think seahorses uh, swim that upright and I was like um unless they're wrapped around a, tr a vine which I was gonna wrap a vine around him but then I wanted it this way I was like I am aware that that's not necessarily accurate and right here I really think we're gonna have to um oh you can't even see that far up right here because this is supposed to be in the background and he's over top of it I think I'm gonna cover this up with the same purple again because he's actually when you get up close well he's lots of fabrics but dominantly there's a lot of purple in there it started out blue but blue on blue on blue gets you know overwhelming after a while 
sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how best to balance him so you can see where I'm working. And we're working here, so that's good, right? Wait a moment. So, um, yeah, underneath the, um, the painting marks, he's got all kinds of fabrics all the way. His whole body is lined in fabric. He's quite lovely, I must admit. Okay, so let's see how do we feel about this. So now we can see the outline, but let's see. YouTube Studio is sending me something odd. Um, let's see, where did I put my little blue stuff? See, this is what happens. I just throw things and then I can't find them anymore. Where is my tool? Does anybody see the tool we were literally just working with? This is what's in his belly, this stuff here. Yeah, it all started this color. Well, part of it, and the other part was this purple. And I'm thinking of running the purple, more purple down the back. And that is what you guys are here with me doing. Let's figure out what we're doing with this baby because he's been a year in the making because I kind of sat him aside and just stopped working on him. Um, just like Sam's, you guys have been watching me do Sam's collage, which we're going to go back to, but it's currently sitting over there just mellowing too. There's some of our pieces. Here's one of our pieces. And I'm fairly certain this piece here, this is um, one of my old um, scarves. And I think I have more over here in the corner. Give me a sec. I do have more in the corner, but I'm wondering if I have more of the tool. Because uh, I really like the tool. But if I do, I mean, I have all of my stuff organized, but um, that tool, I think I got rid of most of the tool. Oh, I do have more of the, the blue, though. <sighs> Trying to remember. I think I didn't put the tool with my trims, so I don't know what I would have done with it, but I'm sure I kept a little bit of it. But I have lots more of this one, and I have more of this one. So let's, but I like the tool the best, because of course that's the, that's the piece of laciness I can't find. So let's just pull this portion out. See, this is the other. I think it's this one. Is that the one? Nope. Well, yes, but it's got paint on it. See? I sprayed it with something. Something along the way. Yeah. So, all right. Let's just put some stuff down. See where we go. We'll rip some stuff up as we need to. If we don't like it, we'll just rip it back off again or cover it up. I think my pool guy might actually be here. He's been a little absent of the last few weeks. So I have not been able to do my cold dips because my pool has not been serviced. But this week he had surgery on his hand. So he texted me like three days after I expected to see him, but he still at least reached out and said he was gonna be a few days late because he had surgery on a finger which I appreciated greatly. Nope. Nope, did you see that not work? Okay, so we're gonna be cutting this stuff. Yeah, so I don't know how long the first video is gonna be, you guys, because it just keeps shutting off on me and I can't track what the heck we're doing anymore. So that's kind of what I was thinking. And then we'll trim off the edges. Even though I like this edge here, but it needs to be like slightly rounded and come to like this on the edges because you know it needs to it needs to make the round make it look cylindrical because it's a lighthouse and they are I'm hoping this year if I go home to Michigan me and my aunt are talking about doing a lighthouse tour of all the different lighthouses which would be fabulous you know, so if I go home, that would be Michigan. When I say home, I mean Michigan. And then when I'm in Michigan, I refer to Arizona as home because, you know, that's how you do. So I really like this one. But chances are good that we'll just go over them with paint anyhow. So, you know, I don't know that it matters that much because I've repainted this lighthouse like a half a dozen times now. Because I want it in the background and not in your face, but 
I still want you to know it's there. These are probably too thick of pieces for what I'm going for, and I should make them smaller, but genuinely don't feel like it, so we're not. Stick. Okay, everything's going to stick to me because I'm putting my hands in the Fabri-Tac. And that is why we have the, uh, I have a sponge right up there at the top of the desk. <laughs> I hope those um, pieces that we did in the first, the resin work, I hope that sets up nice. Yeah, go back and visit the first video, guys. I'll, I'll link them together. Now I guess I got to have figure out how to name them because I don't know how to share a link thing. Share a video. Um, maybe I'll figure that out this weekend, how to put a video in the description, you know? I don't really know how to do that yet. Can't be that hard. I wonder if it's just like when you copy and paste a, um, like when you want to show somebody something like on Amazon or whatever, and you just can copy, paste it, share it, blah, blah, blah. I wonder if that's how you do it. Anybody know? Does anybody want to tell me? Because I will listen. We're learning as we go here, and I like to learn. So I will listen, and I will give it a go. Okay, this is too many of those together, so we're going to move this bad boy up here. And I want to squinch it. Squinchy, squinch, squinch. I just want you to be downward in the center. Now this is, I'm a little bit late because I didn't sleep that well, so I'm a little late doing videos. I expect that my sister will call right in the middle of this, but the way the phone's acting, that probably isn't going to be a problem anyway. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to go up and get the newest phone that has the most storage capabilities. Because I don't know how to use the iCloud, guys. I don't know. And I don't know why I should have to, because I delete them off my phone, the videos, after I upload them to YouTube. So I don't know exactly what's happening. So I guess I'm going to have to ask a couple other people that do videos. Because I'm not going to quit, especially right now. Because uh, December and January are like the worst months for mental health. And chit-chatting with you guys is definitely, definitely helpful. And I know a couple people like Joey DeFee is currently not doing, and she's brilliant, junk journaler. She's not currently uploading and I know a couple other cinnamon, uh, the Art Sherpa, is having struggles. And she's been talking quite openly for a while now on her channel about mental health struggles. And, you know, like I have some, I did some reaching out to people yesterday. I have some reaching out to do today because, you know, reach out to your friends, y'all. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to get on a, yes, I will. I'll totally get on a soapbox. I will indeed. I say I won't, but then I will. Because I just want to make sure everybody's good. I just want everyone to be good to go. So this is the tip. And I have this little piece right here, but I would like to tip, tip that over to the tip. How you like that? I know, right? There. I don't know if I like it now, you guys. It was looking very nice in the background. Let's just keep, I need to put one more something up there. And I was thinking of using just this piece of um, string. It's off from other pieces somewhere. I don't know if it's off from the stuff in here or if it's off the stuff that's in the box. Doesn't really matter. You know. Um, so, well, I'm going to say hi to everybody again because I know some of you did not catch the first part before it abruptly cut off on me. I don't know what that was about. We need a piece here, don't we? And here. So, so one, two, I guess I could get away with two darks. I guess it doesn't matter that much, does it? Because we're probably going to go over it anyway. Here, okay, I'm just going to cut this one because I can't. This one is um, flexy, stretchy. There's the word, stretchy. Mm-hmm which makes it hard to do that, because I don't want to. And then maybe we'll cover this piece up up here in, his, in the back of the 
dragon. Uh, dragon. I just said dragon. I have never done a dragon in my life. It's on my list, but I've never done a dragon. But oh my goodness, the details I'll have to paint in, grid in, because I don't draw freehand, you guys. I'm, I'm learning, but I don't draw freehand. I have to grid everything. Everything goes on a grid for me which means it takes me twice as long as it should because I have to grid it out. But that's the only way, that's the only way it's happening. And there's nothing wrong with uh, just tracing. Um, according to Cinnamon, the art Sherpa, it's one of the first things they teach you in art school. I wouldn't know because I didn't go to art school because I didn't even know I was artistic until I was in my 40s. Wow, that's weird to say. I know, because my 50th birthday's coming. The 40s are leaving. In April, they're gone. In April, I say goodbye to the 40s. Okay. All right, I'm starting to like it a little bit more. I'm starting to like it. Um, We got to put one down here, but I'm just trying to decide if we should. I don't know where this is coming from. Oh, it's coming off that. Gotcha. Okay, go away for a minute. So I'm just going to take this flowery parts off from here and leave the ruffle because I don't want the ruffle edge here because this is the base and it's longer and wider than everything else. So I had a different piece. I know I did. But now that I've used all these see-through sheer kind of things, I think that's what we should go with. I had this piece here to go down there, but maybe it'll go up in there in the back of the uh, dragon. Oh my goodness. Seahorse. <laughs> Dragon of the Sea. I don't know. Oh, I've lost the bubble. I need more coffee. I need more sleep, really. But, you know, that's going to try not to do that till tonight. That way I don't have a repeat of the no sleep game. I don't really enjoy that game. So, as it happens, one of these might go up on Friday and one might go up on Saturday. I really don't know because I don't know what my phone is doing, guys. But... And I was trying to not do part one, part two, but that might happen. You know, because we're just phasing in and out of the this stuff as I feel the need. Okay, I'm going to let that set for a minute because I know we need to go over it with better stuff. Better um, matte medium. Mm -hmm. But... And then it'll sit down more and it won't be, you know, standing up so proud. But I want to let the stuff behind it kind of dry first. So this piece here in his back, this is supposed to be behind him. So I feel like I just had some sanding paper on the desk. Normally I would just uh, use the Dremel, but I don't feel like it. I know I'm having a big see I didn't get enough sleep so I'm having a very big I don't I don't want to fuss day and yeah I know I had the desk clean and then I had plans for today and I left the plans on the desk and now that's not oh look there's the other part of that other one too see because it goes in those little bins which I need to make a bigger bin and that's fine that's fine that it needs a bigger bin Hold on, guys. I'm just looking for the... Okay, I don't see it anymore underneath this bad baby. Because I'm guessing I knocked it down somewhere along the way because it was sitting up here with the paint paintbrushes. Um, 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 um. Is there one in here? Oh, is my arm right in your reach? Sorry. I don't see it. I don't see it. What is the pink thing? Oh, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, so... I think I'm going to, you know how I have these, uh, I know I just squirreled, watch this. I have these cork, wine bottle corks, and I have um, stoppers on them. I think I'm going to make a couple of them into sanding discs. Ha <laughs> ha, I see it. Here it is. Because we used it to do pastels a bit ago. So I just thought I could take some of this here down before we try to cover it. If I can do it fast. If not, we're going to leave it. Because it's not like it's not there, but it's sitting behind, oops, sorry, our, 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 not dragon. Seahorse, what the heck?
I can always put the gold back on. I'm not too worried about the gold. But, um, yeah. This is texture paste and then glittered over top of the texture paste. So, you know. It's not texture paste, you guys. It is um, joint compound for walls. Wood, wood, uh, wood filler. That's what it is. It's wood filler. So, if I'd have been planning this, I'd have did this ahead of time. But I was not planning this. And this is why I put 500 layers of sealer in between everything I do because I keep changing my mind. I can't tell you how many times I did this compass rose on here. And I wanted it in the background and then it was too far in the background and then it was too far out of the background and then back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. And you are seeing the results of Patty right here. I have a little scalpel somewhere, but you know, um, I'm not going to find it right now. So what's everybody else doing with their Friday or Saturday, whichever day I put this up. I mean, it is Friday, but depending on what my phone is doing, it might not let me load them proper. So since it cut the first one off, thankfully it made a noise or I wouldn't even have known the last two times it hasn't made a noise. So I've just been sitting here chatting along to you guys and then looked up and was like, well, I don't even know what happened or when. So, okay, I think we can work with that. Don't you think? Look, safety first. Can you even see what I'm doing? Yeah, we're working right here. You can see me, right? Okay. I have the camera up higher today because of the resin work. And then... I think we're going to do paint pours tomorrow, probably. Well, that was my plan. So, if, but I showed you the disaster I made, so now i got to fix it. Yeah, that alone makes it in the back further. So maybe we can get away with just throwing some purple paint on it. Let's check that out. Um, I know that I'm using the... Uh, uh, well, either Golden or Liquitex, I'm sure, is what this is. Because that was originally, all this fabric in here was originally this color blue. And now, obviously, it is not. Is this the one I want? Making sure this is the scumbliest one. Because I like the scumbly brushes when I'm doing this kind of work. Yep, I sure do. You know, you like different brushes for different things, and I just happen to like the scumbly brushes for this. So, do I need to get it wet? Well, I don't know, but we're going to get it wet first because this is such a potent color that we're about to pop on here. You know, you guys know. If you know, you know. Um, this is, what is this? Deoxazine, dioxazine purple. Yeah, it will kick your patootie color-wise. Like, look at that. Mmm, so beautiful. It's my mom's favorite color is purple. And so I think of her every time I use purple. But see, this is a purple-blue hybrid blend thing that Patty got to doing. And that right there had is part of that swirl. So I'll put the swirl back in to there because that's where the edge of our uh, horse is. Look, I called it a horse that time. A horse, a horse, a horse. Hmm, needs some. This is not the right brush for detail work, though. So I don't know why I'm suddenly doing that. But there it is. And this is what happens. I just keep fussing. Because obviously I need to let that dry a little bit so I can see exactly if it's going to blend or not. But it doesn't look like it's blending enough to me. So if I do this... In spots it certainly will be blended and that I wanted this back piece darker anyway but because you know where there's a light there's a dark that is according to cinnamon's mom ginger cook if you put a light a dark you must put a light and so I try to remember that especially when I'm painting which I got to do a painting here uh, this weekend for my cousin no, I'm not bringing y'all along. Sorry. I mean, I'll show you the results, but not gonna 
paint. I, I'm very rusty with the whole painting. So, um, that's going to be a private journey for a bit again, I guess, because once I started doing um, journals and collage work, I kind of just stopped with the painting altogether, which is a shame because I really love it. I mean, not really. I paint in the in the books. You've seen me do it. Well, some of you have seen me do it. All right, so now let's move. Can you see me? Let's see. Here, yep. Yeah. So the Compass Rose has a... Let me see if I can find him because... Me and him seem to have this love-hate relationship. My, uh, yep, see, there we go again. The, um, 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 what is he? The whale, the whale that goes in the center. So that would be nature, correct? Yes. Yep, hang on, guys. I'm only going to look for a half a second, and if I don't see him, that's fine. Oh, but see, it's a good thing, because here's the other stuff I wanted for there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, see? See what happens? Because I put it in the... I put it away, and then I don't remember it, you guys. That's how it goes. Where on earth is my whale? So I have two whales. I have one made for Sam's piece, and then another whale for that piece. And they're the same die cut, but they look different. You know, you know how that goes. Well, cooey because I moved the stand that he was sitting on. So I'll find him, doesn't matter. There's gonna be a whale sitting here. He's a fun whale, but there's a whale sitting there. But I feel like these need an outline or some love or some something, something, something. And then I have these. I know they're Christmas trees, you guys, I know. But I was wondering if, okay, flipping back around, sorry guys. This is how I work. Normally it's sitting up work. And I'm ruining my firefly. Yeah, I finally found the template for my firefly that I, I drew out and then have to put on a bigger thing. All right. All right. Get get your stuff in gear, Patty. Yeah, it's not the word I was going to use. I know. I know you know. So, if, what if, where is my piece? Here we go. All right, so this is all scraggly like that, right? And so what if these were, I'm wondering, yeah, hang on. Got to get rid of the trunk. Not with those scissors, we're not going to get rid of the trunk. Behave yourself, Patty. <sighs> there it goes, right into the water. Okay, so if we put them this way, doesn't that kind of look like, ah, uh, um, sea stuff, you know, kelp and whatever, whatever's. So what if we did it like this? And I have just used some, um, avocados up so I could dye some more of this if we need more. But see, it needs a piece sticking out the top now, doesn't it? Like one of these pieces. Okay, I can make that work. So if we made this one smaller... So like now we now cut it this way and then that way. I'm trying. Give me a sec. <clears throat> right? So, but it needs one of these pieces coming up off the top, right? So, so, hmm. I'm trying to figure it out. So if I'm using, if I take two off the bottom, because the bottom is going to be more like, uh, don't cut that piece. There. Okay, let's do it that way. So, because I can make the bottom flat, right? Like we don't need the, bo the bottom to be all like that. And yep, I should have more trees, but I don't believe I own more trees. So we're making do with what we have. Because I didn't think that far ahead, you guys. So then if we just uh, do that, right? Put this here. Yes? I think so, guys. I think so. I think I think it'll work. So there's a piece right here that... Oh, what if we turn it this way? No, I like it this way. There's a piece right there that needs to kind of 
come off. Um, here, maybe if I do it this way. Uh, okay. <laughs> and then we turn this one so that it's going like that. And somehow glue them back together. Right? All right. So let's move. Let's move him for a minute. And I don't know why I default to him, but you know, he looks pregnant and that's how I, that's how I painted him. And the male seahorses carry the babies. So him, see, there's, it, there is logic to my crazy sometimes. All right. Where'd I put my stuff? Right here. So let's try. Well, this was definitely not on the plan, was it guys? Where are we at? We're on this one. Which, by the way, we can also do the same thing. We can take off this bottom portion because, um, how did I just do that? Because we can make it flat on the bottom. Why waste what isn't going to be seen? <clears throat> Come on, baby. I'm trying not to cut through my branch over here. Oh, I got to cut that part apart. All right, smaller scissors. Let's use these ones because I've already kind of killed them. Yeah, I know. I did a bad thing with them one day and I was like, oh, that was so not the best plan ever. Okay. There. Okay, so. So, so buttons on your underwear. I can hear my grandma every time I say so. I know. Sorry, guys. But that's what I hear, because that's what she used to say to me. Well, she said it to all of us. I still don't know why, but there it is. Okay, this is wood filler. Not my first choice, but it is what I have. So it is what we will be using. And packing tape, which always gets used for some other kind of something once we're done with it. So no worries. Not always, but pretty much always. Um, we have yay much. I don't know. Where's my piece? This is, that's not even my piece. This is my piece. I'm going to stick it right there on the back for a minute. See if we can. Oh yeah, this is the super dry wood filler at this point. I forgot. All right. Um, that's okay. That's okay. We have glue. And we will just put some glue. <laughs> Brace is flying at me. So I have um, my bottles sit this way. And they're in um, my my dog who passed. They're in her um, her water dish, food dish. But they're uh, sitting in um, rice. So that they'll freestand, you know. And I don't have to fuss all the time with stuff. I need a spatula. My husband just bought me brand new ones which are on this desk. So, oh, nope, they're in the drawer right beside me. See there, I moved stuff to the drawer and that's why I can't find anything. I think it's gonna need a little more glue than that. Whoa, whoa, more glue. Cause that is some, let's see, <laughs> I put it back in wet so there's rice. When I go to Costco next, which I didn't know, my husband went, he surprised me from Costco yesterday. Um, or I would have told him I wanted one of those huge bags of salt because I like to shake the salt on my watercolor anyway. So that would have been really helpful, but I didn't know he was going. He came home and surprised me with flowers and new pans because I mentioned that I only owned one frying pan because I bought this um, Pioneer Woman set of frying pans and they're lovely and I love them. But the set came with one frying pan, a little egg pan that I actually forgot about, which is funny because that's, I use it all the time. So are we going this way? Is that what we decided? This isn't the proper piece, is it? Where did I put the other piece, guys? Um, anyway, we will be using this piece, I guess, until we, well, until forever, because <laughs> hopefully it will be, oh, we got to get rid of that piece there. That doesn't look nice. Um, we will be, uh, it'll, it'll stick. I don't know if this is going to work. I've never tried it before. So we're going to try to stick this 
Now it feels way too big, doesn't it? Mm, where's my other piece? Oh, there it is. Yay. Okay. Come back, come back. So I'm kind of hoping to just mold this on here, you know, and use the tape to hold it in place until it dries. Can you guys see? Okay, I just stood up on my tiptoes to get this close enough to you guys. And that's because I don't know how to do small and big. I'm sure there's a way. I don't know, but I think we're good to go. So we'll just let this dry. So we won't get to put this on this time around. Oh yeah. I was like, I need a little more filler. No, nope, not from there, you don't. And I do have homemade um, modeling paste right over there. So I guess I could add some of that on here as an extra coating. And these have glitter on them. But of course, I think we're going to change the color anyway. Right? So, I mean, they're white and maybe we'll like the white. I don't know. We'll have to see. So we'll set that one aside and then, um, where's my modeling kit? It's right down here. I know where it's at. I do. So tomorrow, guys, I'm thinking about playing with the jelly plate. I don't know what I said I was doing a minute ago. I genuinely don't remember. Well, this wasn't even closed tight, Patty. I know. I did not do good at keeping it clean. I know. Um, Okay, so that's the bottom. Turn it this way. Because you want this to now be your top. But I don't want it that long. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so some of this bottom can come off. Which way do I want it to tilt? Which way do we want it to tilt? This way? So I would like it to set in there, so I should cut this this way. Okay. And our piece of tape. Where did our piece of tape go? There it is. Ah, uh, yeah. Halfway sticky because it was already stuck to the underside of the desk for some reason. So let's put this here. And I'm thinking here, right? Yeah, yes, we are. That's what we're thinking. And these will work because, I mean, my goodness, they're getting glued down. So that's the part we got to remember. We're going to glue them to it. It's not like. They're just going to be freestanding forever. Well, you know, with me, they might be freestanding and not 100% glued down. But the intention today is to, glue, <laughs> is to glue them all the way down. Tomorrow might be a different story. So, but this one's so close to being a finished piece now. Then I just got to figure out where to put it up for sale at. But it is a fun piece and I really love the colors. And if my son sees it, it won't get very far. So I'm hoping to sneak it past. I mean, he's already seen it. So, I mean, he knows it exists, but you know, he just assumes probably that he's gonna get it. The thing is, okay, so my son um, was planning for a long time to be a marine biologist until I mentioned um, that he might have to worry about blood. <laughs> um, and he don't do blood. He was like, okay, so now I'll just do software design. And I'm like, oh, now I feel like I just killed a dream that was way better. He enjoys software writing, though, so that's good. But, yeah, what a... Okay, what well, would not be for me. I liked the idea of him running around the world, playing in the oceans better, because he lights up when he's near the ocean. Which is funny, because we are desert dwellers. Not because we like it, though, but because that's where my husband's job's at. Okay, we like part of it. I love the winters in the desert. Love the winters in the desert. Not so much the summers. Even after 15 years, I'm still like, ah, oh, the summer is a killer. But spring is lovely, and fall is so lovely. There, I think those will work out, don't you think? As pieces of... of Stuff growing in the sea, sea life stuff, you know what I meant. <laughs> you know, the weeds and vines and, you know, my son would know the exact name, but I was thinking kelp, but it's the wrong word. So, and then I'm thinking we just spray them with some um, acrylic sprays, if I can get any of them to work. Okay, I'm going to have to get a hammer to put this back on. If I can get any of them to work once it's dried and... Um, so that it has kind of like multiple 
well, because I do everything multiple color, but I'm, I'm kind of thinking, coral. Oh, there we go. Bam. Got it. That I know how sad that was, guys. Just, <laughs> it is what it is. Coral reef. I'm thinking the coral reef and how, and I'll go look at some pictures before we color them, but I'm thinking about the vividness of the coral reef when I'm thinking about these. And I really wish that I had more. So now I'm wondering if, I got those from the Dollar Tree. I'm wondering if they still have a clearance section with their Christmas stuff. I'm betting not. Um, and that's okay. We can make it work. I mean, I could build some more, but I really don't want to. I don't think I want to. Like, I could totally do this. Well, I might. Maybe one day we'll do it on camera. I could show you. I could do this with um, hot glue is how I would do this. You know, I, that's how I do part of my trees. So, okay, what time are we at? Oh, we're almost we're almost at an hour, so I'm guessing that means we are well over our time if you combine two videos. So, in the meantime, let's just look at our baby. So, this is too dark, right? I mean, you can see that that's too dark, right? So that means we have to go back over it. But in the meantime, before, because um, I'm just gonna let that sit there while I think about it. I'm not sold on this yet. Oh, especially that piece. Get down there and you get up there. Okay, so let's put some matte medium on it and see if we can flatten it down. Because right now, that's not 100% throwing me. I mean, I would go with 90%, but I'm not there either. And sometimes you just gotta let everything come together. I know, but it was so cute looking before I started fussing. And I probably should have left well enough alone, but I don't tend to do that, which is why it takes forever to get it done. Okay, well, also I didn't have a timeline, you know. Where did I just put the spatula? I put it in the water. What a good girl, Patty. Good on ya, girl, good on ya. That never happens. Well, apparently, almost never is the word. I need a sip of coffee. Mm-hmm. And yes, my coffee and water are always in con the um, Contigo containers because I, more than once, drink my paint water, which is not the end of the world. It's not great, but, like, it's not the end of the world because I use watercolors or acrylics. However, now that, um, when it was just like when I was following the Art Sherpa and doing her challenges and stuff, not such a big deal. But if you're going to have extra things like, like, well, it's always a big deal, but you know what I meant. This, well, this is just acrylic binder, to be fair. This is acrylic medium, so that it's the binder without having the, uh, the pigments in. Did you guys know that that's what your acrylic mediums are that you play with yeah yep it is so i know i think i'm thinking about starting a blog where i talk about tips and tricks and hacks and stuff but i don't know about that still thinking still thinking on that one i'm just trying to get the majority of it to lay down I know it was, but I still want it ruffly. So then I'm like, well, okay. Because I want the texture of it when we inevitably paint over it with something. Yeah, because I know how I am. And I can already tell that I'm going to paint over this. I can already see it. Um, if we weren't already at an hour almost, I would probably already be slapping some uh, watercolors on here because while this is wet with this acrylic medium and you put a watercolor over it then your watercolor is going to be permanent which you don't want to do if you're dipping into a pan of watercolors of course but I have um, liquid watercolors too where I can put them in the little bin myself and then just with water so I'm not contaminating my my good stuff you know I mean I have lots of paint if it's paint Except for oils. I got rid of all my oils because I have a friend who, her and her husband, actually take classes and do oil paintings. And she does some beautiful work. So I gave them all my oil painting stuff because I didn't want to fuss with the cleanup. 
and I decided if I wanted to go back, like if we decide we want to put a layer, well, not on this, but over Sam's of oil colors because of um, it being his face and stuff. I know some of you are new, so let me show you. Okay, this is, this is another collage piece that we're working on. This is my son. There's another him that's going to go over top of this. And these are, um, I, well, I was, I'm not trying to make it steampunk, but my son radiates yellow. And so a lot of yellow came in. I'm pulling, I'm going to pull colors back up, but my son bought me these um, buttons for Christmas. And they are just the cutest little buttons. And I, so I turned this one to a clock and I made the clock at the time of his birth. And so all of these, uh, not these gears here, these ones I already had, but the bigger gears, uh, my son gave me this one. My husband made me on his 3D printer. I have a couple of those. That's why I was willing to put one here. Plus, this is mine. I'm keeping it forever. And so these gears are die cut. And then the background pages, that's a die cut. But most of the background pages are uh, Tian from Victoria Designs, I think. But there's old maps in here and all kinds of goodies in the background and then this opens for now because it'll lay across him and um this was beautiful i had it all popped out and beautiful and then i was talking to my sister and i got upset and i forgot that it was watercolor and i hadn't sealed it in and i was outlining with a stabilo all and i kind of just swiped the brush across it and forgot about stabilo all so um i have a stencil to go over his pop out his vest and his suit jacket and this is how my kid dresses every day so but it's all because of where are you at see those glasses on the other picture you can see it a lot better but i don't know where i put my darn picture that's why we didn't work on this today um one yellow and one's pink his glasses and that reminded me of steampunk and i was going to give him a hat but the hat got in the way of the clock so that didn't work anyway we'll be back to this um, as soon as I figure out where I stuck the picture again, because I put it where I wouldn't forget where it was and it wouldn't get wrong. So that happened. So I have that one going. I have this one going. I have a couple more. Oh, I have a huge paint pour in the living room that I want to, um, it looks like, um, when God, uh, it's designed for when God parted the seas for Moses and but there's more more I want to put on it and I can't get it from my brain to my hand yet so it's just kind of sitting there and then um, one day I will show you um, the wings that are hanging outside of my um, studio that I'm probably going to tear apart so then if we are thinking this I'm going to find my other one i hope i didn't already throw it away and the other piece i'm gonna let you go because that's i think we're just gonna leave it here for a minute while we decide whether or not we like this let things dry and we will come back to this one okay so um tomorrow well we might work on sam's collage if i find the thing if not this is the um this is my uh firefly and I, well, sort of. So I already started fiddling with it, obviously. And then I have, I have these um, plastic lace doilies, uh, wings that I made. Because this is not the final rendering, but this is the body I liked. So I have um, a set of these wings, and but I want to, I need, I want to collage the rest of it. And then this will be part of my symbol for on camera. My son made me a banner. Um, but, uh, he's not finished. I think he might be like his mom and nothing ever gets finished because we always, not that we don't finish, but we always go back and fuss. So yeah, those would be the wings. There's, I got two of these that I did. And anyhow, we might, we might play with this because I want to collage the body. And, um, I don't, well, that's not a great plan. So we'll do one of them. We'll do something. But I also want to make uh, put the bee journal together so we can start playing with that. Because I keep saying we're going to, and we haven't. But we're going to. 
Okay, so I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for spending some time with me. I know this one's uh, like 10 minutes shorter, but the other one, I have no clue how long it is. And um, I'm really tired because I didn't sleep, so I'm just going to go read a book for a little bit, and then I'll catch my second wind, and we'll see how our resin turns out. I got to figure out, I got to go make sure it's straight because this table definitely is not, which I'll fix this weekend. But I have appointments this weekend. So I love you guys. All right. I'm just, I'm just chattering on now. So, <laughs> all right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.